Do you want to know what is a scam? A scam is having the Bible translated into Swahili, Yoruba, Igbo, Zulu, and every other African language, but having zero scientific books translated into a single African language that is a conspiracy, that is a trap, and that's a scam. Someone who can be scammed with the same trick over and over again for decades upon decades is considered a fool, and their gullibility and lack of critical thinking make them willing participants in their own destruction. I have walked into different libraries, and I have seen university science books translated into Chinese, Russian, Portuguese, Arabic, and so forth. I have seen Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill translated into French. I have seen the Japanese version of A Man's Search for Meaning. I have seen the Spanish version of Alchemist. I have seen the Arabic version of The Art of War. All these books, I have seen them in various languages, but none in any African language. An African child is sent to Arabic school just to learn Arabic so that he can read the word of his, her supposed creator, while the Arab prays and learn in their own language. African child learns and pray in other languages. You will find churches in Africa where the English became preacher would have a native translator next to them doing the translation. Here's where the scam comes. And you will never find a school in Africa where the teacher will have a translator next to them to translate chemistry, physics, mathematics, geography, economics to the students. I have seen many science books translate into various languages, but none in any African language. The Chinese are taught mathematics in Chinese. The Japanese are taught engineering in Japanese. They are all taught finance, chemistry, astrophysics, accounting, medicine, geology, government in their languages. The only book that Africans have had in their languages is the Bible and Quran. The only time Africans have something translated them to in their language is in a church and mosque. The black African wretched of the earth is the only member of the human race who has been brainwashed to think that his ancestors bequitted him with a curse that has prevented home from attaining his goal and desires. Almost every misfortune he encounters on earth is the fault of some ancestors who must be bound and cast in the fire of the Holy Ghost. The white people don't have terrible ancestors. The Arab that enslaved Africans for 700 years don't have wicked ancestors. No member of human's race has wicked ancestors who have done terrible things. No, it's only the black Africans. Black Africans are the only member of human race that will sit down, write a movie script to mock or belittle his or her heritage, or her heritage. In Western world, Xmas is the biggest festival. Christmas stemmed from both the Roman paganism and Roman cultures. The biggest festival in Arab world is Eid al-Fitr. The biggest festival in Israel is Pesa. The biggest festival in China is Spring Festival. Festival of Light is the biggest festival in India. Black people are probably the only human species on planet Earth that helps other race celebrate their own festivals, but nobody celebrates theirs with them. They generally believe their own ways are inferior. Therefore, it's hard for them to evolve the beautiful things their ancestors left. He belittled the ancestors who gave him life. The continent is the only continent where Christianity and Islam concept of a god is shared equally, even though both preach peace and love, yet there is no peace and love. When an African man is not praying to a foreign god, he will be treating himself in a foreign hospital, or visiting another man's country for religious purposes or praying to his own creator in Arabic. He calls another man's history holy book, just because they told him to ask him, what is holy about the book? It's an abomination for him to see the world through his own culture. Slaves weren't allowed to do that. He steals money from his land to keep in a foreign land. His god and his country was created for him. No wonder nobody respects him. The black man is roaming around the world like a tortoise without a shell. He has no backbone, zero identity. No one respect him. He is lynched in Malaysia, incarcerated in Cambodia. He is shot like a dog in the streets of America. Not until we all free our minds from mental slavery, we will be wretched of the world. Welcome to Clarity Revolution. Subscribe to our YouTube for more longer content. For thinkers alone.